All right, how much do software engineers actually make? There are a lot of variables that dictate this. Experience level, company in which you work, the industry, the company's in, location, and the type of programmer you are, as well as your ability to negotiate your salary, which is variable, but we're not gonna look into that data because we don't have it. But if we wanted to throw all of those other variables into a single data set to find the median, not the average, mind you, because that can be easily skewed, but the median salary among all software developers and all companies and industries using any technologies in the United States, the median total comp is around $171,000. You know, most people like to build up to that final number in their video, so you watch the video for longer, but I figured I would start there and then drill into the specifics of those variables that I discussed. Plus, I don't want you to have to sit through the entire video if that's all you came for. Although there is much more information that we dive into that I think you'll find some value out of. Speaking of which, I should probably discuss what those are because not only are we gonna be looking at the visuals for the median of those variables that I discussed, but we're also going to be looking at the top paying for each of those variables as well. So for experience level, we're gonna be looking at entry-level software engineer, mid-level, senior, staff, and principal, as well as what companies are paying those top salaries. And they'll be beautifully visualized just as this. And sorry, I did blur that out because I do actually want you to watch the entire video, or at least just give it a like if you're gonna fast forward to that point. It's free. I'd really appreciate it if not for more than just an ego boost. All right, $171,000. That is total comp. So that includes base salary, stock options, as well as bonus. And those are other variables to take into consideration when discussing total compensation. Because a lot of data just talks about salary, and we don't know if they're taking stock options and bonus into consideration. And there's also a lot of different contradicting values from $171,000 among all of those software engineers in the United States, because I've seen on the uh, Stack Overflow developer survey that it falls somewhere around 150,000, or on a different site, US News Money, I saw around 130,000. And I don't know who's gathering what data where, the 171,000 is from levels.fyi, which I think is a great website. But that's, I'm just the messenger, okay? I'm, I'm trying to relay the data that I have. Let's start with experience level because that is the most important metric there is. The difference between an entry level software engineer and a principal software engineer is gonna be much greater than a software engineer of the same level that one works in San Francisco and the other works in the middle of nowhere. So entry level software engineers in the United States on average are around $116,000 per year in total comp. And while I would like to show you the same exact graphic for all of the levels, I don't have access to that uh, or levels FYI does not have that. They only have all levels, entry level and senior, but they also have this benchmarking system over here, which does not exactly add up because the 50th percentile for L1 should equal the entry level software engineer that we just saw, but it doesn't. So what I did is I did a little bit of math based on those three that we have compared to the benchmark because those are in a different time frame. But you know, I love y'all and all, but I'm not gonna be spending all of this money in order to buy a one month subscription just for this video because it's not really data that I need other than just relaying it to y'all. And I don't even know if I'd be allowed to do that. Probably not. But based on that and other data points that I found, this is what we have from L1 through L5, which is exactly what I listed previously. Entry level, software engineer, senior staff, principal. It varies from company to company in regards to that, but sorry, did everyone, everybody just check their phones because mine went ding but that's how it's defined on this site. So don't get confused, just know that those are the comparisons. L1 is entry level, L2 is software engineer, L3 is senior, you get the idea. Let's talk about the other median salaries. So L2, mid-level software engineer, will make around $170,000 per year in total comp. So right around that uh, overall median for all levels, which I don't think is a coincidence when looking at this graph, you can see just how many fall right at that median and under because there are so many more mid-level and entry-level data points at least, and then senior to principal are a little bit more spread out. So it makes sense. A senior software engineer will make around $220,000 in total comp. A staff software engineer will make around $328,000 in total comp. And a principal engineer is breaking closer to that $400,000 thousand mark, but it can go way higher than that. And in all honesty, I could be skewing the staff and principal down a little bit more than it actually deserves. It's just the amount of available data out there isn't as prevalent as entry level or mid-level or even senior level 
But the data that is out there skews from like 200,000 to 800,000. And who knows how much more in stock options because some of this may just be base salary. Because depending on all of those other variables from the industry that you're in particularly, that's what will really skew the results. If you're working at a fan company, you're way up there. If you're working at just a regular company like a bank or healthcare or what have you, not quite. And location is something else to take into consideration. We actually have a list of the 10 top US metros based on median pay. Rank one is of course, San Francisco Bay at around $249,000 in median pay. And this data, by the way, includes all experience levels. And then you can see two through nine. And then at number 10 comes Northern Virginia, Washington DC at around $150,000 median pay. We also have the same data for top European cities as well as top international cities. But remember, those are the top 10. If we were to look in Raleigh, Durham, North Carolina, which is the research triangle, a lot of big companies there as well, but the cost of living is quite lower. So if you you look at all levels, you're looking at about $133,000 in median pay. Entry level is around $90,000 and senior level is around $170,000. But again, another popular tech spot. What if you were to go to somewhere like Oklahoma City? And yes, to be fair, I am picking this city because that's typically where they go, not the entire state. All levels is $99,000 median total comp. Entry level is $80,000 and senior is $132,000. So you see, it will vary quite a bit depending on where you want to work as well as your experience experience level. Now let's talk about company. But before we get there, I want to just plug my company. Yes, my company is the sponsor of my video, DevNotes. It is my newsletter for programmers. We send out just three issues a week directly to your email about the most important, interesting, or just our favorite stories in software development. From new updates in programming languages and technologies, to computer science research, to technological advancements that could potentially impact the future of software development as a whole. And all of it packaged into a neat and nice little email so that you can read it and stay up to date on all that stuff. Was that a good sales pitch? I don't, I don't know. I'm not very good at this. Just, I'm, I'm, I'm just trying to grow my newsletter. That's all. So if you think any of that's interesting and you like to read and stay up to date on all that stuff, devnotesdaily.com, I'd really appreciate it. You can unsubscribe anytime. Again, it is free. And hey, if you just decide not to open any newsletters, we'll make you inactive and not send you anymore. And we collect no information other than your email so we can send you the emails. That's it. And I was gonna not mention the giveaway, but I am doing a giveaway, mechanical keyboard, $250 to Bright Data and NVIDIA DLI credit, Deep Learning Institute credit and some other things as well that I'm negotiating for y'all. And I'm giving that away to just one random subscriber to the newsletter, that's it. But I'll, I'll announce all those details in a future video, community post, or a short or on Instagram or TikTok or all the above, I don't know yet, just, Okay, back to the video, sorry. Now we can look at median pay. Actually, I think they make it average compensation, but let's look at a few companies. Starting with Google. Now, don't get confused by their levels. Their L3 is entry level. Their L4 is gonna be our mid-level, L5 senior. You see all of this right here. You can also see the entire breakdown of base to stock to bonus to give you a little bit more information. So again, Google, their entry level total compensation is $185,000. Their mid-level compensation is $280,000. Their senior, is $344,000. Their staff software engineer is $514,000. And then they have a senior staff that's $737,000. And then they have a principal engineer making $1.21 million. You see, this is what I'm talking about. I gave the range, a modest range for principal engineers from 200,000 to 800,000. They're making 1.2 million on average. Yeah, you can see it says average compensation by level, all of these. However, you can also see right here, the median compensation package totals $295,000, which again falls in line with our previous theory that the all levels median is around the total for the mid-level. Let's take a look at Facebook. So their median for all levels is $335,000. Their entry-level software engineers make 205,000 total comp. Their mid-level is around 300,000. Their senior is 425,000. Their staff is 628,000. And then what I'm assuming to be their principal is 1.1 million. Who or what the E8s or E9s are, I don't know, but I wish I were them, that's for sure. Shoot, I guess I'd be happy with any of those salaries. It's pretty good. Now let's take a look at Intel. And even though they're a tech company, you will notice a drastic difference in salaries. Their median compensation package totals $166,000. Their it looks like we're in a school. But their grade five, so their entry level makes around $130,000 
total comp. Their mid-level makes 156,000. Their senior makes 207,000. Staff, $237,000. Their senior staff is $300,000. And then their principal engineer is $422,000. Oh, they also have a senior principal engineer of $550,000. Ooh, fellow and senior fellow. That must be what this is. Sorry, y'all probably know this information. I do not because I never got to that level. <laughs> Let's move on to CVS Health. Their median compensation package totals $125,000 and their entry level software engineers make $112,000. They have this listed as senior software engineer one, but that's L2, so $130,000. Their senior software engineer two is $153,000. Their L4 is a lead software engineer. We're gonna correlate that to staff software engineer, although they make the same as the senior software engineer, $156,000. And then the principal software engineer is $160,000. $65,000. That is a drastic difference. That, that That's like 10% of what some of these other principal software engineers are making at these tech companies. It's it, When you actually look at the numbers and, and all of that, it's wild. I'm not sure if this is just United States. I actually don't think it is. And obviously they're going to be in a lot of different locations, lower cost of living locations where the dollar goes further. As a matter of fact, I actually made a video three, four years ago now, maybe about how uh, similar to this, how much software engineers really make, I think is what I titled it. And that is basically the premise of the video. I did use averages instead of median. I'm sorry, but they're typically pretty close. But what I did there is how far your dollar stretches, because this was also before like most things were remote. Because if you're making $200,000 in San Francisco, but you're making $80,000 in a super low cost of living area, how much in regards to living expenses that are necessary for that location, as well as taxes, what are you really seeing at the end of the day? Some of those were actually pretty surprising. Anyway, let's move on to Capital One. So their median compensation package totals $150,000. As you can see, I like to I like to round these numbers. Their entry level software engineer is $124,000. We're going to ignore this. Their mid level software engineer is $144,000. Their senior software engineer is $176,000. Their lead or what we're going to consider a staff software engineer is $208,000. And then they have kind of a senior lead at $278,000 and it's distinguished engineer at $370,000. And it's also very interesting to see how all of this breaks down in regards to the base, to the stock, to the bonus, because I'm also not sure about the stock options at many of these companies. You know, somewhere like Netflix, you can choose, hey, I just want all cash, no stock. If I want to buy stock, I will. But when it comes to stock options, does that, that also includes RSUs, right? Which could have a vesting period and are they valuing it at current market value? Probably, but what happens if it drops? If it raises, hey, great, but what happens if it drops? You know what I mean? It's not money in your pocket that you're sure you have to wait a couple years or however long for it to vest and then you can get that money back out. Anyway, I kind of nerded out a little bit. I really like looking at those numbers, especially when it has a dollar sign in front of it. It's just so interesting to me. So I hope y'all find it in interesting as well. Now let's move on to the top paying companies. So everything we looked at now is just kind of, uh, the median, the average, things of that nature. But what are the companies that pay the most at each different experience level? Let's check that out. These are the top paying companies by engineering level, starting with entry level software engineer. You can already look at these numbers and could grief. The worst is $220,000 in total comp. But the first is Jane Street at $325,000 in total comp, which makes a lot of sense because those are quant traders. You're going to be making a lot of money, but you're also going to be working 23 hours a day. So it's justified. What I said there was a little misleading. When I say quant traders, I don't mean that's the salary for the quant traders. We're looking at the software engineers who build the tools and infrastructure for the quant traders and, and all that stuff. So when I say quant traders, I also say it again for IMC. I mean like that's the industry. I mean, it's investment and things of that nature, but to be more specific, like that's the industry they're in. I just want to clarify that. Figma, $240,000. IMC, which more quants, $240,000. Roblox, which is actually kind of surprising to me at least, around $240,000 in total comp. Databricks, $230,000. LinkedIn at $220,000 and Plaid at $220,000. And just so y'all know, I probably should have really specified this earlier on, but I think y'all get the idea by now, but I'm going to say it anyway. The entry level engineer position is typically zero to two years of experience. And then the engineer 
two or mid-level engineer is typically two to five plus years experience and we'll see the rest as we go. But here are the top paying for mid-level software engineers. Databricks, $380,000. IMC at $350,000. Roblox at $350,000. Rippling, which is a software company, workforce management, that's fun, $330,000. Plat at 330, Airtable at 322, and Netflix at 320. And you may be wondering why isn't Netflix, I mean, they are notorious for paying really good salaries why are they not top seven on entry-level engineer it's because they have no entry-level engineer uh they do have like a new grad program or at least they used to and some other things but when it comes to their software engineering positions they start everything technically at senior engineer so i guess this wouldn't be so accurate as well at least that's what i've been told i lied well i didn't lie this is just what the site is considering entry level at 217,000. that's why they're not on the entry level because they're below 220. All right, senior engineer is five plus years of experience and these top seven companies rank from $584,000 all the way down to the broke people at $465,000. And I don't really wanna insult y'all's intelligence by reading every single company and total compensation to you, but I am just in case anybody's not watching and they're just listening. I want to help you all out. So senior software engineer L3, according to the site, Databricks at $584,000, Netflix at $535,000, Two Sigma at $500,000. They're like, they're a hedge fund, but like a technological hedge fund with a lot of AI, ML, and distributed computing for their trading strategies. Coop. Paying, I don't know how to pronounce this, is a South Korean company. Also based in Seattle, Washington, they're like e-commerce and stuff, $492,000. Roblox, $490,000. Snowflake, which is like cloud-based servers and things. Actually, that's kind of insulting. Cloud computing, $472,000. And then Plaid, $465,000. I haven't explained Roblox and Plaid or Netflix because I assume everybody knows what it is. Now on to L4, staff software engineer, typically 10 plus years of experience. OpenAI coming in at number one at $925,000. Coupang, the one that I previously tried to pronounce, $870,000. LinkedIn at $708,000. Stripe at $700,000. Plaid at $690,000. Snowflake at $650,000. And HRT or Hudson River Trading, which quants and stuff, $640,000. If you live in the Hampton Roads area of Virginia like me, it does not stand for Hampton Roads Transit. If that was the case, I would definitely be a staff engineer for them. <laughs> And on to L5 Principal Engineer, and finally we see actually some new names. I was gonna say Facebook, but also some other new names. Facebook at $1.02 million, Stripe at $940,000, Pinterest at $870,000. I'm not doing very good at highlighting this, am I? Uber at $830,000, Apple at $825,000, Cruise at $820,000. They do like self-driving cars and stuff like that. And then Airbnb, at at $810,000. Oh, and principal engineers, typically 15 plus years of experience. Usually less than 3% of employees in a company are at this level. That's how much software engineers actually make, as well as what companies will pay the most money. And I know people don't typically pay attention to this, but most of my viewers are not subscribed to the channel. So if you're watching this and you like this content, subscribe to the channel. I have a lot of very good videos that I think will help basically software engineers of any level. I'd really appreciate it. I'm trying to get to 500,000 subscribers. Hope you all have a good day and hopefully you can secure some of these high paying salary jobs as well.